Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, George. So we got a Prime Weld Cut 50 DP plasma cutter here. Now this plasma cutter has been uh, in my possession for about six months. I've done a lot of uh, cutting on quarter inch material, uh, 10 gauge, half inch, and I've used it on 110 volt. And I've done a lot of uh, quarter inch material at 40 amps. That's basically the max I've cut on a on 110 volts on 240 or 220 I've done a lot of a uh, half inch steel here's a little pigtail adapter to convert or be able to use a machine on both voltages I mean 110 240 there here's a AG 60p torch got a little safety mechanism here this is also pilot art or no touch technology, which means you don't have to touch the steel to get an arc and start cutting. And the consumables, well, that's about it. Got your electrode there, which is pretty much uh, time to replace it. You got your little wrench here to tighten it down. Got your nozzle. And then this, uh, I forgot the name of it. I don't know if it's a, a shield or a ceramic shield there. But uh, I've seen other plasma cutters that have uh, swirl rings and O-rings and other stuff on there. So this is very basic. Now, you get a 13-foot hose on here, which means you can reach 13 feet instead of moving your machine closer to, to your projects there. And, I mean, this feels, uh, what can I say? Very flexible, unlike other hoses that are really hard. Now the clamp here, we got 10 feet, I believe, uh, 10 millimeter cable, which uh, I don't remember exactly if that's six gauge or, or what, but I'll post it below there. Now, once again, the machine has been running for about six months on my projects off of a Dewalt 60 gallon compressor and a 30 gallon Husky compressor. So I'm gonna give you a close up of the front here and then on the back side so y'all know what the plasma cutter features are on the front and back. All right guys, so this is a front display here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, power this on here. So if you're running on 240 volts, you can go all the way to 50 amps. Now what I did notice was this dial can go all the way down. It'll stay at 9 amps. And, uh, you know, I just go by the readout on the display. Now you got your, uh, your uh, pressure gauge here. And I believe the manual states 40 to 75 PSI. And you want to have a supply of at least 5 CFMs at 80 PSI. Now here on the bottom, here's your, your twist lock for your ground. Your red cable here for your pilot arc. This one's for the switch on your, uh, or your trigger. And then your air hose. I don't have a compressor hooked up, that's why I removed it. And uh, that pretty much covers the front here. You got an LED there, which has an O and a C. I don't know if that's overcurrent or maybe for overheating, but I'll post the link below it, um, if I find out what that is again. So I'm gonna show you the back side here. You got your regulator here. Once again, input 110 volts, 220 volts. You got your fan right behind your regulator. And uh, I don't know what kind of material this hose is here. So I won't get too technical on that. And then we got more values here. Uh, I'll do a close up there for you guys. Hopefully y'all can see that.
and I don't know what connector came on here. This is the one I use for my uh, my hoses. These are high flow. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it for the plasma cutter. Now, all I want to say is they have good customer service. This machine has a three-year warranty. Last time I called customer support for some, uh, some questions I had whether they're related to the machine or not. And they gave me really good answers and really prompt as well. Now the duty cycle on this is a hundred percent at 23 amps on 120 volts and a hundred percent at 40 amps on 240 volts. And I think that's basically all 24 pounds total. Consumables are, uh, easily available on the website and that much that pretty much covers it now i was going to give this away and i'm going to go ahead and post the winner of this plasma cutter in the next three seconds so thank you all for uh <laughs> well i can't say three seconds if i'm still talking um i want to say thank you to everybody who uh made this possible um you know, all the comments, the sharing, you know, everything helps uh, the channel here. So, uh, congratulations to the winner. All right, guys. So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pack the machine up and send it to Wisconsin or Wyoming. I actually forgot, but... Um, you know, somebody was lucky and won it, so stick around for other uh, giveaways, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.